Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this beautiful animated infographics for your PowerPoint presentation. And I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And let's move over to the tutorial. We'll start with creating a new blank presentation. Make sure you remove the default text boxes by clicking H and hitting the delete key. Let's grab the oval tool from the shapes panel and draw a circle. I'll set its width and height to 8.5 cm. Now align it to the center and to the middle. Head over to the format pane to work with this color. First of all, we need to set the line setting to no line. Now open up the fill drop down and click on the gradient fill option. We want to give the circle light gray gradient. And to do that, let's click on the left gradient handle, then open the color tool and click on the more colors button. In the colors panel, make sure you have RGB selected, then just type in the hex code for the color. Now let's do the same for the right gradient handle. Also make sure that the angle property is set to 45 degrees. Now let's create one more circle 7 by 7 centimeters. Now jump into the shapes options tab. For the line settings, this time we want to select gradient line option. If you have more than two handles on the gradient scale, just grab the ones you don't need and drag them down one by one. Now let's set the gradient to the following values. And now scroll down to the width property and set it to 2.25 points. Then set angle to 270 degrees. Now go up to the fill section and set it to gradient fill with the following values. Then just align the circle to the middle and to the center. Now let's grab the text box tool and add some text to the circle. To make this look a bit more interesting, let's add some rectangles right below the text. I'll set the smallest one to 0.23 by 0.36 cm. I'll remove the outline and in the fill section I'm gonna create orange gradient. You can use the same hex values to achieve the same result. Now I'm gonna copy this little rectangle and increase the height of the copy by 0.23 cm and set its gradient fill. Later on we'll use these gradients to color other graphics on this slide, so if you decide to skip this part now, you'll need to do it later for the infographics that we'll be creating in the next steps. I'll speed up the video to create the rest of the rectangles. And all in all, I'm gonna have six of them.
We can now start creating the infographic shapes with options which will be sliding out as we progress through the presentation. Go ahead and create a new rectangle 4 by 9 cm. Click on the No Line option to remove the outer line. We'll set the fill color a bit later. Next, let's create a circle 4 by 4 cm and align it to the rectangle. Like so. Then grab the two shapes and make a copy by holding down the Option key or Alt key if you're on Windows. With the created copy still selected, head over to the Merge Shapes tool and select the Fragment option. This will divide the shapes where they are intersecting. Now we just need to remove these cutout pieces. Let's go back to the other set. And this time, we want to unite the circle and the rectangle by clicking the Union option in the Merge Shapes tool. Let's quickly recolor one of the shapes so we can better see the layers. and align them like so. I want the top shape with the cutout piece to be a little bit bigger in height than the one below it. I'll set the height to 4.02 points and middle align them. This way I'm making sure that we can see the edges of the bottom shape. And don't mind the colors for now, we'll take care of them later. Go ahead and create a new circle 3 by 3 centimeters. Again, these sizes are arbitrary, if you want the shape to be bigger or smaller, feel free to do so. Or if your PowerPoint is set up to use units other than centimeters, don't worry too much about it. As long as your shapes are similar to what you see in this video, you're gonna get the same result. Alright, I want the circle to have the same line and fill properties as this top circle over here, so what I can do is to just copy the styles from one element to the other. I'm gonna select the element that I want to copy from. Then in the Home tab, I'll need to click on this Format button. This will copy the styles. Then I just need to click on the shape that I want to apply the styles to. Great. Let's move the circle into place. Now I want to add an icon to the circle. I'll switch to the Insert tab and activate the icon panel. Let's select one of the icons and move it right here. I want to bring down its size to 2x2 two two centimeters and set fill color to dark grayish blue. Alright, what we want to do next is to group all the shapes together by selecting all of them and pressing Command and Option G on the keyboard. And let's position the group on the slide. I'll be using Smart Guides to mark the position of the elements on the slide. They will come in handy later on. Now let's create two more copies and position them like so. Then we'll need to add guides with the same values to the other side of the slide. Then select all three groups and holding down the Option and Shift keys, start moving it to create a copy. With the group still selected, head over to the Shapes Format tab and select the Rotate tool. We want to flip the groups horizontally. Now just align each of the groups to mirror the left hand side of the slide. That's where the guides will help us. Now we need to ungroup everything. That would be Command Option Shift G on your keyboard. And let me quickly flip back the icons on the right side. At this point, we can go ahead and fill the top elements of all option points with white. Or if the background of your slide is of some different color, then choose that color instead. Just make sure that it matches the background so we can see these top shapes. The next step would be to drag out each of the options to its final position when it will be sliding out. 
But before I do that, let me mark these stopping points with the smart guides. Now let's select the icon, the gray circle and the bottom shape and drag them out. I'm gonna do the same for all six options. Now let's make use of these colored rectangles that we created earlier and fill the bottom shape of each infographic option with the corresponding color. Now we're ready to add some text. And now let's change the icons. If you want to use the built-in icon library, all you need to do is to select the icon you want to change, right-click it, then hover over change graphic and choose from icons. In the pop-up window, select the icon you want and click insert. This new icon will inherit the styles of the previous one. What we need to do next is to group together the moving parts of each of the infographic options. That is the colorful backdrop, the text and the gray circle with the icon. And let's bring forward the invisible white shapes. Select all of them by holding down shift and head over to the shape format tab and click bring to front option. Now I'll hide the part with the text behind these invisible white shapes. Make sure you follow the guides to position the shapes evenly. left to do now is to bring forward the central circle with the text and this will be it for the first slide now let's animate our presentation i'll create a copy of the slide by pressing command d on the keyboard make sure you're currently on the second slide let's grab the first infographic option and slide it out don't forget to hold down shift to keep it along the horizontal line now, to animate this slide, we need to open the transition tab and click on the morph transition. The duration I want to be at one and a half minute. Let's have a quick look at the animation. It looks good. Now, let me do the same for the rest of the infographic options. Each will be sliding out on its own slide. Now let's run the presentation and see the final result. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!